Jason. And I'm Becky. We are out here at our Turpin location. We are open by appointment only, so give us a phone call if you'd like to stop out and check out some plants. Well, we've gotten about five truckloads in in the last two weeks, and there's a couple more truckloads coming next week as well in time for Mother's Day. Let's go check them out. the normal garden center we don't have what's expected we have more what's unexpected I like to have the ooh, uh, what's that never seen that before kind of plant uh, more of a boutique or specialty shop for plants and every annuals perennials flowers trees shrubs I mean we aquatics aquatics we do a lot of what we do for our install so we have a lot of really cool special stuff here and I do recommend setting up an appointment and coming out and just checking it out sometime. Becky or Julie or somebody to walk you through the plants here and it's just a lot of fun and you're really able to see a lot of special stuff. I know when we do our water garden tours you know the plants are always wow where did you get that and the answer is always I don't know you gotta ask Becky but she does an incredible job of, of bringing stuff in. We've got a few different things this year we've got a whole cartload behind you of these hybrid agaves called mangaves and they're a tropical succulent but they're they're really cool everybody likes my succulent collection when we do the pond tours and stuff so these were a little bit different and then we've got lots of plants to fill in nooks and crannies around ponds in boulder walls in tiny spaces in the garden these are all perennials so they'll come back every year Some of the coolest plants that you bring in have to be the maples. They're definitely some of my favorite. Lots of different colors, textures. Tell me a little bit about them. This year I did good because I got my orders in in December. I was able to get a larger selection than what I did last year. So some of them are purposefully low to the ground. Others are grafted on a taller trunk to give us a little bit of elevation. And others still are upright. But what's really cool is even the uprights, are, they're all different sizes. We were just looking at one that's only four to six feet wide and maybe eight feet tall. So you can fit these almost anywhere. You don't need a ton of space. What is your favorite maple? Autumn Moon. Why? Because I was lucky enough to get some this year after not being able to get any for a few years. Mm -hmm. They're upright. They change color through the seasons. They don't take up a lot of space. And they're a really nice contrast to other plant material. Doesn't mean you can't have another one with it. That's what I have at home. Even with vines, I look for something a little bit unique. For instance, I found this clematis called 911, and it's going to have a, a striped bloom on it, but obviously we know what this is to commemorate. Plants can be sentimental or commemorative to somebody that you care about. Speaking of vines, another thing that I found on the availability list when I was doing my order was this akebia, and I was like, what's that? And when I look it up, this says five leaf akebia, and this says white flowered chocolate vine. They both have the same name, and they're two different, completely different plants until you look at the Latin name. But one blooms purple, one blooms white. They're hardy, and besides these large sizes, we also brought them in in a smaller starter size to try on a mailbox or a trellis or somewhere where you want a little bit of verticality. That's a tree peony. The herbaceous peonies are a perennial that everyone knows, but they tend to flop really badly and require staking. This is a woody tree peony that you'll benefit with the gorgeous blooms, but they're much more upright and don't fall over. And they're getting ready to bloom here in the next couple weeks. They make a great Mother's Day gift. We have 
cypress, false cypress, pine. Believe it or not, arborvitae, but they don't look like arborvitae. We've got cedars. <laughs> Again, different accent plants for different situations. Some weeping, some upright, some big, some small. All different purposes in the landscape. The other cool thing I like about conifers is they don't just have to be green. Some are sort of blue or yellow or bronze and it makes a nice contrast to other plant material. The next step is to add in the deciduous color. So these shrubs offer a variety of colors and textures depending on what you're pairing them with. Don't go too heavy in any one direction, like not all yellow or all red, but come up with a nice contrast to suit your conditions. Most of these are deer resistant. Now over there's some roses and they're not as deer resistant, but the majority of this is. The potentilla also likes hot, dry conditions, great for a slope, a rock garden. So we have the benches for the perennials. Was able to bring in more rhodes and azaleas, which I used to not bring in at all, A, because I didn't have a place to put them, and B, because I didn't like the fact that a lot of them only bloom for two weeks. But now I found repeat bloomers and things that last longer, ones that are dwarf sizes, as well as some more aggressive sizes. Uh, this whole selection of the X-berry azaleas, which are deciduous, which makes them deer resistant, but the colors are phenomenal. I just have a much broader selection for shade material. We talked about the conifers needing the sun. Well, we've got something for everybody. So I hope you like seeing some of the plants that we have in stock for this season. I know you enjoyed looking at the book, but it's much better to see them in person. We couldn't talk about them all or I'd put you on overload. So. If there's anything somebody might be looking for that you didn't see or have questions about something you did see, give us a call and we'll see if we can help you out. Yeah, I know you have a ton more coming in too. So here at Turpin, we're open by appointment. Give us a call if you would like to stop in and see anything or talk about anything. We look forward to designing and building your outdoor dreams. They like a little bit more shade though, right? No, they'll take full sun. Cut that part out. <laughs>